Union with your twin flame is not something that we achieve. Union with your twin flame is something that we fall into. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brienne, a master certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. And today I want to talk to you about what I mean by union with your twin is not something that you achieve, although we do use that word achieve because it serves a purpose. But really what is happening with your twin flame union is it's something that you fall into. And what do I mean by that? Well, you got to understand that you already are in union with your twin flame, regardless of where you're at on your journey. If you are experiencing separation, if you're already experiencing physical, physical union with your twin flame, you've always been in that state and you are in that state right now. It's not something that is separate from you because you were created in union with your twin. And so we can have the experience of not being in union, which is what we've coined as separation, but that separation is simply an illusion. It's a belief system. It's a thought system that we, we heal through, we uproot. So falling into, relaxing into your union, what does that mean? Okay, so myself included in this, when I first began my twin flame journey, and I've seen many, many other twin flames doing the same thing as I did, and that being putting all of your attention on your twin flame, like putting your energetic, your energetic feed, like a pointed in the direction of your twin flame and literally your every thoughts, your every move in life is focused on your person, your twin flame person. But what that does when we're really like leaning into, you know, having the intentions of, you know, my person, I gotta, I gotta be with my person. I gotta, you know, I gotta manifest this thing. Like, how can I, you know, what's the quickest way? Like, how can I, you know, you're kind of like, a, it's a little bit of an ungrounded, a little bit of a, maybe a frantic energy or a little bit of a, I, I got to hurry up and get this thing. I got to, got to get there, right? You really, really getting at it. Uh, and the reason I'm saying all these words is I'm trying to communicate the energy. It doesn't mean exactly that you're saying or doing these things, but I'm communicating an, an energetic response versus just really like relaxing in your being, right? Just being very chill, okay? Being still, being in peace, and we all know that basic law of attraction, and that is like attracts like, all right? And so if you are energetically pointing all of your attention, you know, towards your twin flame, then that is going to, you're putting your energy in the wrong place. You're putting it outside of you. Therefore, you're communicating energetically, you believe that your twin flame is separate from you, right? And what does that communicate to the universe? It communicates, oh, this person believes in separation. So, you know, we must honor their belief in separation versus as you relax and you surrender into the truth that your union is within your heart, right? Union within, because that's where it manifests from. You relax into your being and you focus your attention on your inner union that focusing that attention, it attracts it into your reality because you're relaxing into what already is rather trying to get something that you think that you don't already have. Hopefully you caught on to that. You're relaxing into what already is rather trying to get at something that you think that you don't have, right? That trying to get something that you think that you don't have is communicating to the universe, okay, so she believes or he believes that they don't have this, so we must match that energy. Therefore, yeah, your twin flame's way off over there. But when you relax and you love yourself and you surrender into, I'm already in union, and you allow that to be your truth, you allow that to be your state of being, you're communicating to the universe, to God, source, higher power, whatever you prefer to call it. You're communicating that you have relaxed into the truth. 
And therefore, God, universe, will honor your your belief system, your your um, whatever it is that you're choosing to align yourself to to. And so this is the way that you have your twin flame union and you deepen into it as you first realize that you already have it. And yes, you know, we can know this truth, but it's something that you want to embody for yourself. And that is maybe where people will start to get hung up is they're like, okay, well, I get it that it's an illusion, right? You conceptualize like, it's an illusion, although I don't entirely feel that way because it feels very real. And you're right. It totally is validate your experience of what it is that you're moving through because that is your experience. And it's, it's, it's very valid because it's your own. But also know, too, that you were not created in that way. You were not created separate from your divine lover. You were created in union with them and this is just something that you and your twin flame are experiencing you know wherever you're at on your journey but if you choose the truth that you are one with your union and that your union never left you and you never left it and you relax into that and then you walk the journey towards relaxing into it and that means anytime you find that you're energetically trying to grab at it or you find that all of your focus and attention is on your twin flame or on, you know, that, that maybe that thought system of like, it's not with me right now. I've got to, I've got to get it. I've got to make it happen. Acknowledge that that's out of alignment and that's not really honoring the truth of your being because the truth of your being is you're already with it. And so you can make a new choice. It's very simple, right? Because you are an energetic being first and so you making a choice, you naturally are choosing to align your being to what is true for you. And that is, I choose the truth that I'm with my union now. And I choose to relax into my union now. I know that I don't have to chase it. I can attract it just by being with it in my heart. And this is really how you, um, you know, it's the law of attraction. We are all familiar to some degree with the law of attraction and your wherever your energy is that's what the universe that's what god is going to respond to because you are a divine being and you have free will you get to create in your reality as you so choose and we create in our reality based on our choices our thoughts our belief systems um, patterns that we might be playing out that we're not even aware of. That is how we create in our reality. So if you are coming at your union from the perspective that you don't have it, you immediately want to acknowledge that that's an incorrect thought, right? It's not a, a divine thought. It's not a, a thought aligned with love. Whereas when you approach your union from, I already have it, and it's already mine. And even though it's not, maybe not in my physical reality, um, I choose to surrender into it and attract it back into my reality because it is my natural state of being. All right. So once again, you do not achieve union, your twin flame union. You relax into your twin flame union. So you can just make that choice to relax into what already is for you and allow yourself to attract it. And if you are serious about manifesting your harmonious twin flame union, as I said in the beginning, my twin flame and I are both twin flames universe ascension coaches, master certified ascension coaches. And we've been in harmonious union for over four years now, four and a half years. And we have a lot of experience in supporting twin flames through separation and being with their twin flame. So you're welcome to reach out and claim your support. And I also want to mention too that we did um, post, if you are a subscriber of ours, you'll see that in the community channel, we posted that we are making an e-course and we have planned to have that released June 1st. It's not a um, 
It's not a set in stone date as of yet. It could be sooner, could be a little bit after, but we will continue to provide updates on our progress, but we do want to get that out as soon as possible because I know that it will be, um, it's a gift to all of you. And I know it's gonna be something that's very informative and something that you can enjoy. And whether you're new to the twin flame journey or you are, you know, you've been navigating your twin flame journey, you're gonna find it very uh, incredibly helpful. And also maybe just getting to know me and Adam and about our union um, on a deeper level. So if you're not yet a subscriber, make sure to hit that subscribe so you can stay up to date with uh, all of all of our content, our videos and our announcements and all those good things. Don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe. I already said subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.